An inside look at City Hall politics today with one veteran councillor facing the fire and ultimately paying the price after a couple of tweets that were sent out last year criticizing city staff and breaking the code of conduct. Based on my findings, I recommend council reprimand councillor Matlow and suspend his pay for 10 days. That was the final recommendation from the city's integrity commissioner and ultimately the punishment handed down by Josh Matlow's colleagues at city council. The reprimand comes as a result of tweets posted by the Toronto St. Paul's councillor last year. One suggesting he was being lied to by the general manager of the city's parks division regarding when public washrooms were open. Well, I certainly believe that I could have used a different word uh, when I described my disbelief in the information that staff provided us about whether or not park bathrooms were open uh, when there was a discrepancy between what they provided and what Torontonians were telling us. Another tweet from Matt Lowe took specific aim at interim city manager Tracy Cook, saying she was the wrong person to take on the job based on information provided to council about encampment clearings and smart track. The integrity commissioner's report outlined how posting those messages online violated council's code of conduct. His fellow councillors were given the ultimate decision on what kind of penalty he would face. I have not heard an apology today. It would go a long way in my view. And I'm gonna challenge councillor Matlow to stand and appoint a personal privilege and apologize. I'm not gonna apologize for advocating for better service standards opening park bathrooms, ensuring that real, relevant and honest information is provided to us when we're making multi-billion dollar decisions. It's not the first time Matt Lowe has received a reprimand for his actions. He did back in 2018 for suggesting city staff were politicizing information related to the Scarborough subway. Now he does so as a candidate yet to register in the upcoming by-election for the city's next mayor. To call members of the public service liars when you have no evidence that they're lying, that leads us down the path to the ugly government in the south, to the south of us. Evidence that despite facing the fire and a dock in pay, Matt Lowe may continue to criticize, no matter the words from those he's surrounded by on the council floor. When I look at the report, if I have to summarize all the pages into two words, it's be nice. We need to be nice. We need to be nice to each other. I think we're all guilty of that sometimes. We need to be nice to city staff and we have to be nice to the public. Councillor Matt Lowe expected to register as a candidate for mayor as early as next week. The suspension of his 10 days pay will be as of May the 1st. Mark McAllister, City News.